cropping integrals and how to find whether they converge or diverge using the definition of a proper integrals. So in the first part we have the integral of from 0 to infinity e to the power minus 5x dx and we will find whether it converge or diverge using the definition and then if it converge, we will find the actual value of this improper integral. So what is the definition of improper integral? We define it as the limit when r goes to infinity plus infinity of the integral from 0 to r and the same function inside of our integral. And if this limit exist and finite, we say that our improper integral converge and the value of this limit is the value of our integrals. So what do we have here? We have here now integral from 0 to our r. So it's just usual integral and our function inside is an exponent. So we can immediately find this integral inside. So we will rewrite the limit. The antiderivative of exponent is minus 1 over 5 e to the power minus 5x and replace the limits of integration. And so I will place the bracket so we don't confuse these minus signs. So what do we have here? When we have r, it is the limit, r goes to infinity, minus 1 over 5 e to the power of minus 5r and for 0 we have plus 1 over 5 and e to the power 0. So what happens now? When r goes to infinity and it grows larger and larger we have here exponent to the negative power. So this number here becomes smaller and smaller when r increases. And here we have a constant. So for the limit, we have that it is 1 over 5 and e to the power 0 is just 1. So we have that this limit is equal to 1 over 5. So at the end, we conclude that the integral from 0 to infinity, the improper integral of our function, converges and is equal to 1 over 5. So, and we now found that our integral converges and we found the actual value of this integral. So, now our improper integral is really, really different one because we have infinity on both sides of the integration. So, minus infinity on the bottom and plus infinity on the top. And the, with this integral, we work in a completely different fashion. We don't take the limit immediately. We firstly divide our integral into two parts. So we take the integral from minus infinity to zero of the same function, x to the power four dx, and then the remaining part, which is integral from zero to plus infinity, and again the same function inside dx. And so now we have a sum of two improper integrals where infinity stands only in one limit of integration. And here we now can use the definition of uh, improper integrals. So for the first integral, what do we have? It's integral from minus infinity to zero, x to the power three, e to the power minus x to the power four, dx. We can write it as the limit r goes to plus infinity integral from minus r to zero and the same function inside. So now what is our function? It is x to the power of 3 e to the power of minus x to the power of 4. If we place here minus 4 over minus 4 then here minus 4 x to the power 3 e to the power minus x to the power 4 is precisely the derivative of the function e to the power minus x to the 4. So our integral is just limit we just rewrite and the integral is minus 1 over 4 
e to the power x minus 4 and the limits of integration from minus r to 0. And when we substitute our limits of integration, we have that it is the limit, r goes to infinity. So when we have 0, it is e to the power 0, it's 1, so it is minus 1 over 4, and now plus 1 over 4 e to the power minus r to the power 4. Because when we take minus r to the power 4, it is precisely r to the power 4. And so at the end we have that this limit is so what do we have? Here is a constant, so it goes out of the limit, and here we have e to the power negative r to the power 4. So when r grows, this goes to zero, and all these are uh, equal to zero in the limit. So at the end, our first integral from minus infinity to zero of our function converges because the limit exists and is equal to minus 1 over 4. So now we found an integral which stands on the first place, but we haven't found the second integral. We do need to find it to say whether the integral we have original converge or diverge. So integral from 0 to infinity x to the power 3 e to the power minus x to the power 4 dx. So again, by the definition of a proper integrals, it is just the limit r goes to infinity integral from 0 to r of our function x to the power 4 dx. So this uh, answer derivative of this function we already found in the previous one. So the, it is the limit r goes to infinity minus 1 over 4 e to the power minus x to the power 4 and the limits of integration from 0 to r. And when we substitute this we have that it is the limit r goes to infinity minus 1 over 4 e to the power minus r to the power 4 and plus again 1 over 4 because when we substitute here the 0 in, in the exponent we have 1 and so as we have almost the same limit here so when we find this we will have 1 over 4 so we have found the second integral here and we have that the integral of minus infinity to plus infinity x cubed e to the power minus x to the power 4 dx converges. Firstly, this is the first implication we have because both integrals here converge and the value of this integral is just the sum of the values in here. So it is minus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4, which is 0. So now to the other part of this question, part f. We have integral from e to infinity dx over x logarithm of x. So it's again an improper integral and we need to find whether it converges or diverges, we need to find the limit. So it is the limit r goes to infinity integral from e to r dx over x logarithm of x and to find this integral we will make the substitution so which substitution we can make we can make substitution logarithm of x equals to t then t varies between uh, 1 and uh, logarithm of R and uh, when we take the derivative, derivative of uh, logarithm of x is dx over x and this now dt. So we have here dx over x, it is precisely dt, and our variable, second variable uh, logarithm x, which is t. And so our integral is equal to the integral from 1 to logarithm of r dt over t which is now a classical 
the integral and we can plot it immediately. So it is limit power goes to infinity logarith of t from 1 to logarith of r. And finding this we have that it is limit r goes to infinity logarith again logarith of r. This is the first term and minus logarith of 1 which is 0. So now what do we have here? We have when r grows as when r grows logarithm of r also grows and then the second logarithm also grows. So as uh, r becomes larger and larger, this value is also also becomes larger and larger. So this limit is just infinity. So the limit uh, diverges and well, to infinity. So what can we say about our improper integral? Our improper integral dx over x logarithm of x because of this infinity here we can say that it is divergent integral and therefore we cannot assign any value to this integral.